Today I wanted to make a, a small video, a video about the, my workout that I'm going to be doing at home. I, I didn't go to the gym today because uh, my back is feeling uncomfortable. So I know if I go to the gym, uh, I'm, once I put my belt on, you know, I tighten my core, I'm going to go as heavy as I could. So in order for me to avoid doing any heavy exercise I just prefer not to go to the gym because I know once I'm in the gym I'm gonna go how do they say it? beast mode at the gym so pretty much I have here a couple of sneakers that I have this is a old sneakers that's not that old to tell you the truth I probably have it for like a year and a half it's an ASICS uh, sneaker training sneaker and uh, I wore it the other day because the weather wasn't too nice outside. I forgot what I was doing, but um, I didn't want to wear the new ones, um, which is this, this one actually I have it for almost probably six months. And that's the one I work out with now. And uh, I have this one when I'm going to walking with my kids. It's a Nike. It's also training shoes, uh, but I wear it when I'm uh, going out for walks with my kids, and um, so it's easy and comfortable. But I wore this one because it's old, and it's you know it's kind of dirty and whatever. But the weather wasn't too good. I didn't want to wear any of the new ones, so I wore this one outside. And last night. I was in bed, you know, feeling uncomfortable in my lower back, and I think this sneakers had something to do with it. Not because it is this brand or anything like that. I think it's because I, you know, you could see the heel, the, the part of the shoes. One, uh, you may not be able to see it, but uh, the heel part, it's, it's not equal, let's just say one side is flatter than the others because I wore it a lot so the the, the sole of the shoes is uh, how do they say it it's uh, not running out it's uh, it's, it's fading it's worn that's it it's worn out so pretty much the heel of the shoes sort of uh, when I'm walking I guess it make one my kids toys like one side of my feet you know leaning more toward one side so I think that sort of transfer uh, some of the uncomfortable actually I was starting to feel my right ankle feeling uncomfortable after I wore it but I just let it go and a little at a time a um, couple of days later and I'm starting to feel it on my upper uh, leg and then eventually it reached my lower back which is a problem I've had for years and uh, so this sneaker is sort of trigger the you know the whole movement because you know your whole body is connected once one part of the body is not working properly so another one had to compensate to help the other side or muscles or whatever to function properly so by doing this my lower back got the worst part of it so I didn't go to the gym and um, I'm gonna do some minor exercise here um, I record on my phone I took that shoes out just to show uh, and I have when I bought this shoes I I bought two 
of them. Um, same kind, just different color. And I'm so glad that I did because this is so light and it's so comfortable. My husband got tired of me telling him how comfortable the shoes is. So I'm so happy that I bought two and it was kind of cheap. I think it was 30 something dollars. And he suggested for me to buy two. I was like, no, I only want one. When I need another one, I'll just, but I'm just happy. Once he, if he sees that video, he's gonna brag. But uh, I'm really happy that I listened to him, that I, you know, I bought both, uh, both of them. Because it's really comfortable. And I work out with this, and it's like I have nothing on my feet when I'm work, working out. So today I'm just gonna do some minor things. I'm probably gonna do some pull-ups on my kids' doorway. And uh, I record my, uh, what I ate this morning before I took the kids to school um, because I knew I was going to do some minor exercise here, maybe some stretches and nothing major. So I decided to record it and before I do the, the exercise and I thought of mentioning about the shoes and how it sort of, I think, I'm not a professional to know all of this, but I think my shoe had something to do from triggering uh, the, my lower back from being uncomfortable because I didn't lift anything heavy to tell you the truth for my back to feel this like that. So I'm gonna clear things out and I'm gonna put my mat on the floor and do some minor stretches and um, and hopefully it helps some of you. Just because I don't go to the gym today, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna do some something. So it's just stretches for my lower back, maybe a little bit abdominal work, because right now uh, I'm trying to cut. It's, it's what, November 4th? Today is November 4th, and Thanksgiving is coming. So it's not like, I'm on a diet or anything, I just cut down the amount of carbs that I ate, uh, that I eat, and um, to help me, you know, for the holidays. So I don't want, after the holidays, I'm going crazy, oh, I need to lose weight, da 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 da, da. so I like to lose weight before I start going crazy. So I'm just going to do some stretch, uh, stretches for my lower back. And I'm gonna try to do some pull-ups and maybe if I can to do leg lift for my lower abdominal and that will sort of help uh, also some stretch for my lower back but I'm not 100% that I'm gonna be able to do it because lifting my legs I need my back muscles in order for me to do that so let me adjust the camera to focus on the floor and then I'm gonna Go ahead and do what I need to do.
close the door is to keep my back here from swinging around. So if I have the door open, I'll try to, when I try to do the leg lift like this, I can't even do it because my back is, I'm going to be swinging around. So I'm going to close the door so my back will be against the door. such a pain, I can't even lift my leg. So instead of going straight, I'm going to bend my leg. Now, I'm able to go slightly higher, slightly higher, so, is that if you don't move those joints and muscles you pretty much will eliminate it you have to well at least for me I can't tell you what to do I'm not a doctor or chiropractor or physical therapist if I don't do anything it will get worse so I have to try to work to make the muscles work through the pain because uh, believe me, it could have been much worse if I never did anything. I went to a physical therapist and all of the things that I've been doing, that's the same thing they make me do. So there's no reason to spend money in seeing them. So you just have to try to uh, make the muscles and the joints do some movement. I used to go to the chiropractor mostly because of the machine that they put on my back after they make me do the exercise. So I used to make them put it to the highest. I pretend I didn't feel it because the, I don't know how it calls the machine, but it's like an electrical thing that they put on the muscles area and it feels really good. So that was one of the reasons I mostly went to the chiropractor, not to do the exercise, but for the machine. If I could afford one, I think I would buy it. Just lay the hand and just let it electrify me. I might 
just stuck back here. And then do the same thing I just recorded earlier. So there's no reason to record it twice. It's pretty much the same thing. Let me see if I could do some pull-ups. So it doesn't really involve my lower back, but the upper muscles. Let's see how much I could do. physical therapist. 